What is going on guys, Tetswava here, and welcome to Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy. Now we're going to be playing some Crash Bandicoot, all three of the classic games, similar to what we're doing with Spyro the Dragon, with the Reignited Trilogy over there. So, we just finished up Spyro the Dragon, now we're going to be moving on to Crash Bandicoot. So let's just hit A to begin, I'm actually playing on a PS4 controller, so these, these little buttons are and completely different to what I see over here. Anyways, let's just jump into it. Let's start out with Crash Bandicoot. And of course, once we beat this, we'll be moving on to Spyro 2. Once we beat that, we're going to be moving on to Crash 2. And of course, we're going to be going back and forth and back and forth between the two games. So anyway, speaking of games, let's just start a brand new game. Let's just jump into it. But Dr. Cortex, we haven't determined the cause of past failures. <laughs> Moron! This bandicoot will be my general, and he will lead my Cortex Commandos to world domination! This time, I shall reign triumphant! We are closer than ever before! Quickly, into the Vortex! <laughs> Dr. Cortex, <laughs> the Vortex is not ready! We have no idea what it could do! <laughs> Failure again! <laughs> Capture him! Uh-oh! Prepare the female bandicoot. Uh-oh. Crash escaped. But the female bandicoot hasn't escaped. Okay, well, we're going to need to save the female bandicoot. We need to get back up into Cortex's castle. We just fell out the window and landed on a beach. Okay. <laughs> Alright, well, all we have to really do is just, like, step on these crates and stuff and just basically avoid all these obstacles and stuff. It's kind of a 3D platformer. It was actually kind of a cool game for its time like 20 or so years ago. And of course I played it as a kid. Uh, once again, those buttons are not corresponding to what, uh, oh man, it's a crab rave. I'll get a copy strike. <laughs> Anyways, we have all these like little, oh man, I forgot what these were called. These little apple type little things. Ah, I forgot what they're called. Anyways. We, I, I think when you get a hundred of them, you get a new life, so it's not necessarily something you want to avoid. So anyways, there we go. Just kind of spin, and we can destroy critters and stuff. We have that little mask following us. That's basically our health bar right there. Uh, so if we take like a couple hits or something like that, eventually he's going to go away. And if you get like three of these masks, I think mine's charged up to like level two. If he gets up to like level three, that makes us invulnerable, invincible. Oh, I think we'll get it here in just a moment with this one. Oh, yep, there he goes. So now we're wearing the mask guy, and I think we're moving a little bit faster. Oh, oh, what? What? Oh, man, I thought the game crashed right there. Jeez. <laughs> but yeah, we, we just run into anything, and it automatically kills it or breaks the box or whatever. So that's really cool. All right. Well, let's just do... Oh, jeez. Okay, we're going to need to activate this. There we go. Uh-oh. Well, if I want to get a perfect score here, I have to destroy every box. And I don't know if I've destroyed any of the- Oh man, I got an extra life right there, no wish. And we have these little turtle guys there, so kill that guy. How many boxes are we missing? So we're up to 47 out of 49. Is there any boxes over here I might have missed? I think so, yep. Yeah. Oh! Is this it? I think we got all the boxes here, you guys. Is that it? 49 out of 49, did we get the diamond? Oh, we got the diamond! Perfect score, haters! Alright, perfect score on the first level. Yeah, I'm not bragging! Can you just pull that out of his butt? I'm not gonna ask any more questions. Oh my god. <laughs> but there we go, we got a diamond on the first level. Nice. Oh, Wumpa Fruit. That's what they're called. Wumpa Fruit. Those little apple things, because these are the Wumpa Islands. Alright. Well, that was the first level. There are going to be a variation of different levels and stuff here, so it's going to be kind of cool. Jungle Rollers? So let's just, let's just jump into this one. Now, I have played the first Crash Bandicoot the game that we're playing right now. I've already played it off camera just because I had hardcore nostalgia for it, but now we're playing it on camera, so who knows? Things might be different. Maybe I'm going to get some hardcore fails here. Who knows? Anyways, our TNT right there. We do not want to step on, although I'm pretty sure if we're... Yeah, if we're invulnerable, if we're wearing the mask like that, it doesn't even matter. We have these, like, skunks and stuff over here. We just run into them. No problemo. We're good to go. There we go. Just run into everything here. Gotta make sure I don't... Oh! Don't get hit by that rock there. Plus, we'll be heckin' dead. If we collect 
three of those little heads that we just got right there. Okay, that one just ran out. We get three of those heads, we get like a bonus level. So definitely want to watch out for that bonus meme. Oh! Didn't want to hit that, or we get hit by it. And there's two rollers right... Oh! Checkpoint time! Break all those. Trying to get hit by the rollers here in the jungle. Oh my god! Okay, that's number two. We're gonna need to find a third one here in just a bit, and we'll get the bonus level. Ooh, that's going to be a tricky one right there. It kind of stuck between the two TNT. It's going to be an extra life, but it's going to risk... <laughs> It's going to risk a life trying to get the extra life. Do we want to try that? I don't know. I, I don't think I'm going to risk it for the biscuit, you guys. All right, let's just go. We're not going to get the perfect score. We're not going to break every single box, so not that big of a deal. If we get uh, eaten by those little Venus flytrap memes, of course, I think we die or take damage or something like that. I think I think, I think, think we take damage if we don't have that little mask. Oh, look at that. We got all three of them. Bonus level time! But I think if we don't have that little mask falling us, that means we have to die from that, so we need to watch out for that. But anyways... Just going to get a bunch of Wumpa fruit over here, I suppose. Probably some extra lives as well, so there we go. Noish. There we go. If you, I think if you die over here, it doesn't count. Like, we're basically in an alternate universe right now. And there we go. Let's try and save her. Oh no, she just got kidnapped again. Oh no. Whatever will I do? I guess I have to continue playing the game to actually save the female bandicoot. Oopsie doopsie. Oh, jeez. Rollers were kind of like paused right there. Paws the rollers. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> Are we going to get another invulnerability right here? Oh, I, oh no, no, no. That was, I thought that was a mask, but it was an extra life thing. Whoops. All right, another one right here, and this is the end right here. Yeah, we missed like seven or six boxes right there. 37 out of 43. What in the world? Oh, there you go. All right, well, there we go. We finished that level. Unfortunately, didn't get a perfect score. I know. I think TNT counts for, for boxes, so there are three boxes there that we missed by not blowing up the TNT and getting that extra life. So I don't know where the other three boxes were. Who knows? But anyways, missed six boxes. Not that bad, not that bad. Let's just, let's just jump into the third level. We're just blazing right past these levels. Of course, the first ones are going to be super duper easy. Of course, the difficulty is going to ramp up the further along we go. And of course, there is like this bonus level called like the, uh, oh man, I forgot what it's called. I don't know. How do I get there from here? I have to go here, right? Oh, Stormy Ascent. I think that's what it's called. Stormy Ascent. I think it's like a bonus level you can do. And it's kind of difficult. I tried to do... I, I, I didn't beat that off camera, unfortunately. Maybe I'll save it for on camera. We could try it on camera. Maybe once we beat the game, we can try and do the Stormy Ascent. Especially after I get some good gameplay here. And I can get accustomed to how you play it and stuff. Anyways, I'm going to jump on all these boxes. Try and get up to 100 and whoop of fruit. And unlock a... Oh, hold that to bounce higher. Yes. Of course, once we get 100 Wump Fruit, we get an extra life, so definitely want to get that. All right, well, there we go. And now we're invulnerable for a short amount of time. Let's just kill all the turtle fellows. Kill that creature. There we go. Get that thing going. Kill this monkey fellow. Oh, man, I'm killing everything. I don't know how this mask is able to kill things, but I'm not complaining. <laughs> all right, extra life right there. Gotta spin this thing. That way we can actually walk on top of it. There you go. Now, once we get into the further levels uh like deeper levels into the game i'm not going to be like hand holding you guys through everything i'm not going to be able to explain everything because i can't i'm not I, i've only ever played like these first few levels like uh like easily i guess you could say like i said earlier the difficulty does ramp up i think i should have saved that turtle so i could actually jump up and bounce off the turtle and get that extra mask right there but it is what it is nothing i can do about it all right there we go but of course after we hit a certain level I'm not going to be blazing past the levels anymore. I'm probably going to fail one after one fail after another. Oh, jeez. Oh, man, these guys. I hate these ones. I have to kind of, like, I think jump on... There we go. And then... There we go. Well, at least that's how I defeat them. I don't know if that's, like, the official way you're supposed to defeat them, but... Try and, like, jump on top of them, and then heckin'... Oh! Oh, there we go. Now, I did say it is a 3D platformer, so... There, you can actually go into the background and the foreground and stuff. Kill that monkey. So, oh, jeez. Oh, I didn't want to fall. I bounced. Oh, 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 there we go. Got him. But you can go into the foreground and the background. It's not like I can only go left and right. I could go forward and backwards, too. So if we want to watch out for that in certain parts of certain levels. Is that, oh, there you go. And we need to watch out for these like cycles and stuff, too. So you can see these are going up and down at predictable intervals. So we can kind of predict when they're going to go and just kind of go from there. So yeah, yeah, it gets easy. Or, it is easy right now. It's going to get harder, of course. Now, there are Wump of Fruit things in this crate. So when I, I guess I could activate the TNT, because I think that technically counts as a box. And this thing, when we hit the little exclamation point thing, that activates the, uh, these to turn it. You guys might have seen there are, like, blank white boxes just moments ago. Now, I think I can destroy that. There you go. 
And now they turned into solid iron boxes, so that's good. Oh! There you go, get extra life. Oh! Uh, oh! 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 Come on, get that last box! Oh! There you go, got it, nice. Oh, a couple more boxes right there, and that should be it! There we go, we got all 11 boxes! And a couple extra lives. Three extra lives, actually, that's great. And we're up to a 17 extra lives so far. I don't think we've died yet, so that's good. Let's wait for these. Oh, we can go right now. Oh, and this is the end. Woo! You can see that little invisible platform right there? That's for like a ruby or like a gem or something like that. Of course, we'll get that later on in this game. The longer we play. So we can come back to these earlier levels once we unlock those gems. And we get like alternate pathways and stuff like that, you know? So, yeah, it says I missed 11 or no, geez, I missed nine boxes right there. So some of those boxes might be hidden in the secret passageways that only those gems unlock. So that might be one reason why I didn't get all the boxes on that previous level. Who knows? But anyways, let's just move on to what is this going to be? Level level four? All right, moving on. I don't know how many levels I'm going to get done on this first episode. Jeez, am I going to finish the first island on the first episode? I'd be crazy if I doubt it, though. How many levels do we have here? Hold on. Like, look, look at all these levels that we have. Yeah, there's the last level right there next to that waterfall. So who knows? Oh man, boulders. Now this is an infamous level right here. You guys, even if you haven't played Crash, you probably recognize this level. It's Crash Bandicoot running away from a big old boulder chasing him. So <laughs> we do need to watch out for that. And uh, I don't think it really matters how many boxes we get because I think the boulder actually destroys the boxes. So it doesn't matter. I'm like, here at the beginning, of course, the boulder. Oh, and then speaking of the boulder, there it is right there. Oh! All right, let's just try and anticipate jumps and stuff. Trying to get hit by the boulder, get extra lives when we can, might as well. Doesn't matter if we don't get that lump of fruit. Oh my god! We're actually pretty, uh, pretty far ahead of this thing right now, so we have a lot of leeway. If I do end up getting stuck, but oh jeez, oh, I don't know how I broke that, but we did. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't need to spin jump on those because of course the boulder's going to break that. Yeah, break, breaking those boxes there. So let's go checkpoint time. Get that, might as well get that one for fruit, just because. Hey, why not, right? And there we go. Continue on. Try and stay ahead of the boulder. Try not to get crushed by it either. Oh man, now we have these like fences in the way. Gotta try and. Oh jeez. Went the complete wrong direction right there, but whatever. Oh my god. I think at the... Oh, jeez. I really don't like these jumps right here, because they're, they're small little platforms that you only have like a split second to kind of... Oh, jeez. Oh, we got the dying... Yeah. Oh, look at that. That's what I'm talking about. We didn't even destroy those boxes. We had the boulder destroy them for us, and we... Ugh. <laughs> Did you guys see that he just vomited up that diamond? Well... Just polish it off and hey, sell that for a million dollars, right? Golly. <laughs> How'd that even get inside of him? Jeez. <laughs> Anyways, there we go. That's a boulder level right there. You guys can see we have a pretty good variation of different levels here. So that's going to be fun for this series, I'd say, for a good variation. Especially whenever we had Spire, that was... If you, if you think about it, it was a lot of the same stuff. You know, just basically just fly, glide, collect gems, and kill critters and stuff like that. It, it, it was pretty monotonous. You basically got the gist of it. After like maybe one or two episodes, you know, but here in Crash Bandicoot, we're getting a pretty good variety of different like gameplay and stuff. So that's pretty cool. Hope you guys enjoyed the series. If you guys are enjoying it so far, let me know in a comment down below. Do you guys like this more than Spyro the Dragon? Or do you like Spyro more than Crash Bandicoot? Of course, this is just episode one, so can't really compare it too much. But if you guys have played either or or both, be sure to let me know which one do you guys think is better. Either on my channel or just in general, like which game do you guys think is better, like game series? I don't know which one I like better. Of course, I played both of them as a kid. Crash and Spyro. So that's why I'm playing the remakes, the remasters of them. Yeah, I, I don't know. I'm like, they're unique in their own ways. Like, they're their own, like, unique gameplay and stuff. Oh, don't want to get hit by those, like, Piranha fellows. Also, we'll probably either die or lose one of our mass levels. All right, checkpoint right here. That's, of course, what that C stands for. <laughs> or I guess, I don't know, that C might stand for Crash. Maybe some Crash Bandicoot lore people in the comments might help us out. Oh, there's a TNT. Okay, that TNT don't have a, uh, that, that extra life don't have a TNT on top of it like that one earlier did, so that's good. Now, if I want to get all the boxes, I think I have to destroy that TNT, so hey, might as well jump on it. Don't want to spin on it or else we're dead. So there you go. Yeah, you can hear it. You can't even see the explosion there. Let's just continue on. I'm like, if we're, if we're... Destroying boxes here might as well destroy as many of them as possible, just in case. Although there might be an alternate pathway here. You need to watch out. These lily pads, if you step on them for like two or three seconds. Oh, jeez. Two or three seconds. And 
Oh, man. There we go. Okay, our mask is on a tier two right now. So that's good. Oh, yeah, there is an alternate pathway. You can see the little gem platforms down there. Yeah, we need to unlock those if we want to go get, I assume, extra boxes down there. Hidden behind the waterfall. All right. Looks like that purple one. Looks like it eats, it closes its mouth on its own interval, but the red one closes its mouth depending on whether or not there's something in its mouth like that. Yeah. Hey, another bonus level. Don't mind if I do. I think this even counts as like a, a checkpoint, too. So if I, like, die, I should respawn, like, right here, I think. Uh-oh. Okay, this one's going to be tough. I remember doing this, I think, during one of my update video, like, background footage. Oh, jeez. Oh. Uh, it has still been a couple months. Actually, probably three or four months since I, uh, actually played <laughs> this game off camera and stuff, so... Oh, jeez, I think I just spun... Oh, man, I spun away an extra life right there. Oopsie doopsie. Then again, we're up to 21 lives. Hey, look at that. 9 plus 10 lives. Oh, man. oh, I probably should have gone right there. Gone on that lily pad. But whatever, we'll wait for it to come back. And boom! There we go. Got it. All right. And get... Or, did I come out of a lily pad? I'm like, I don't know. It might be a lily it's, it's basically just a heckin' leaf. <laughs> I think these are lily pads right here. Okay, this is the... Oh, and there's another alternate pathway right there, too. Yeah. Whatever. We can come back here later once we have the gem... If I even get the gems. I think the only way to get the gems if, 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 is if you get all the boxes on certain levels i think i'm not 100 percent sure who knows i might have to look into it i don't know if i'm going to 100 percent in this game like i did for spyro that was basically a complete accident that i 100 percent in spyro like I, I eventually started getting all the gems and stuff for spyro and i was just like you know what i might as well go back and get the gems for the previous levels and just 100 percent or 120 percent this game right Sheesh. but i don't know if i'm going to be doing it for crash Bandicoot, unfortunately but anyways we wanted i don't know what level this is six seven eight nine or something like that i have no idea we're just blazing right through this. We're only like 17 minutes into the video or something like that. And we're already, oh, <gasps> we're already on the first boss. You guys want to do the boss? I don't, I don't think I want to end the episode uh, on us defeating the boss. Or if I even can defeat him. I forgot how you defeat him. Should be easy for me to remember and figure out though. There's Papu Papu, the big first boss for us. All right. Oh, gee, okay. He throws down, oh, oh, and he's, oh my god, he's got a butt crack, and, <laughs> oh yeah, 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 you jump on his head, yeah, there we go, oh my god, I'm so gonna get demonetized for this, you can't, oh my god, you kidding me, oh my god, one hit and I'm down, one more hit and I'm down, I don't have my mask anymore, golly, I don't know how I'm getting hit by this guy with his giant butt crack, I did, <laughs> oh my god, oh, oh, get him again, okay, two more times and he's down, two more times and he's down, oh, Oh, oh my god. Oh, oh, one more time and he's down. One more time. Man, I I, I really... Oh, jeez. Oh! Shouldn't have taken those, like, two initial hits there at the very beginning. <laughs> oh! Oh, god, you can see he's, like, fat, like, jiggling. Ugh! It's disgusting. <laughs> oh, wait, I'm even bouncing on his gut. Jeez. <laughs> okay, well, I somehow used his gut as a trampoline to... Crash through as I can roof out of there. Jeez. I don't know how that's possible, but it... <laughs> Alright. Well, there we go. That's the first boss down. Alright. Well, over here. What is this? Oh, yeah. Coco's time. Oh, yeah. You're not, now you're able to play as Coco. I forget the lore behind this, but it's, I don't know if Coco's like Crash's sister or girlfriend or what. Or hopefully not both or else I'm going to get demonetized, right? Golly. <laughs> but, of course, you can, you can change over to Coco if you want to play as a girl, so that's kind of cool. Press that to, man, I guess that would be this if I'm playing on. Oh, wait, one more. Am I playing as a, oh, oh, now I hit it. Oh, there you go. Okay, now I'm Coco. She's got that little laptop down there, so hey, that's kind of cool. All right, well, we might as well play at least one level as Coco, so hey, there you go. Oh, Rolling Stones. Am I going to get demonetized, or am I going to get copy shriked for that? Rolling Stones, the level, the name of the level. <laughs> going to get copy shriked by the Rolling Stones. Oh, now we've got the little van. Or vi van, I meant vine creatures. <laughs> All right, there you go. Up to almost 100 of these uh, Wampa Fruit right here. I'm going to get an extra life here pretty soon. Not bad, not bad. All right. Now, that girl bandicoot thing down there, that's not the only extra life or, or uh, bonus level thing. And there is also, like, Cortex as well as, like, Brio. You guys remember the, uh, the two creature things? <laughs> oh, yep. Speaking of Brio, there's one right there. From the intro, the little scientist guy from the intro, so of course they, they have uh, bonus levels as well, so we need to watch out for their hidden 
heads and stuff. You guys might have seen that head was actually hidden on screen right there. So two more Wumpa Fruit until we get an extra life right here, you guys. It's going to be no oh, should be able to get it from these. I guess not. I, I guess I only got one from those. Okay. And oh! Okay. Okay, there we go. Extra life time. There we go. Now we're up to 22 lives. All right. Oh, geez. Just activate that TNT. Get out of there. Get out of there. Oh! Kill the turtle. And checkpoint time. Now, does that see? I don't know if that one stands for checkpoint or does it stand for Coco? I don't know. Ooh, maybe it stands for both. Oh, jeez. That was close. Oh, my God. Now, when you're doing a 3D platformer like this, of course, the camera angle does come into play a lot more than like a 2D platform. Oh, man. Let's try and time this just right. There you go. And we could. Oh, man, that one's moving. Oh. Now, I'm not bragging, but I feel like we haven't died yet. So that's good. I want to keep that streak up. Maybe I won't have any. See how long we can last at least. Can I? Can I? Let... Oh, my God. I got the. Oh, I got the invincibility mask. Oh, 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 yeah. I, th I don't I think, you know, uh, oh. Was that, did that turn off whenever I go to the uh, bonus level? Oh, I think, it, yeah, I did. Oh, okay, went back to the regular. Okay, whatever. All right. Well, there we go. Oh, whoops. Oopsie doopsie. All right, well, I messed that up. <laughs> Should have used that as like a staircase, but whatever. There we go. Oh, there we go. Now I could use this as a staircase. Oh, 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 oh my God. Woohoo. There we go. <laughs> Get the Wumba Fruit. Speaking of Wumpa Fruit, let's get even more Wumpa Fruit. There we go. We're getting up to another extra life. Boom. Saving her again. All right, so we got one extra life, a bunch of boxes, and more Wumpa Fruit over here. So that's great. Or 24 extra lives. Noise. I wonder how high we're going to get on lives. Maybe we're going to end the, uh, meet the game with like 99. I doubt it, though. I'm pretty sure the deeper in we... Oh, and there's another alternate path right there if we get a gem. See that little... Oh, oh no. Oh, man, I took... Oh, my God, I died already. Oh my god, I'm over here like pre-bragging and stuff. Oh, I didn't even... Uh, should have known that that one was going to like move. I have skunks and stuff over here. Oh, jeez. All right, well, here's a Brio. Do I, oh, I only have two out of three of them. I don't, uh, I don't know where the third one, or I guess the second one would be. Of course, that one we just got. That was the third one. Sheesh. Man. I thought we were going to at least maybe beat the whole first island without dying, but it is what it is. Nothing I can do about it, right? I'm pretty sure some of those boxes we just missed right there. I think we're like 64 out of 80 something. How many boxes? Oh my god. Just rub it in. Oh, oh my jeez. Coco's probably got a concussion. Anyways, 23 boxes right there we missed. Jeez. Pretty sure some of those might have been hidden inside the bonus level. I don't know. I don't know if that's like a thing or if bonus level boxes don't count towards the level of the boxes. I don't know. I don't know. If, I, I don't think they do. I, I think I might have seen a speed run where the guy just basically skipped bonus levels and he's still 100% of the game. I think I don't remember. <gasps> Hogwild, one of my favorite levels playing. Of course, this one's kind of self-explanatory. I think I even mentioned or uh, referenced it back in Spyro the Dragon when we had those little hog fellows on the swamp levels. I forgot what that was called. Beast Maker's World? I forget. Oh, here we go. Kind of self-explanatory. Riding on a heckin' hog. <laughs> All right. Now, I'm not controlling the actual pig, like, speed. I'm only controlling, like, it going left and right and stuff and jumping. So, oh, jeez. Now, this was one of the levels I used, I think, for background footage for one of my update videos. So, <laughs> hopefully I can actually 100% this. Oh, jeez. I have to kind of learn the patterns and stuff. Uh, kind of predict where those little tribesmen are going to go, and I think you bounce on the, yeah, you bounce on the drum. Oh, 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 there we go. Very nice. Doing, oh, I missed a box. Golly. Okay, that guy's going to, yep, there you go, and then go to the, oh, nice. Doing pretty well. I missed a box. Not that big of a deal. We can always go back if I want to get 100% it. There you go, to the right. Gotta jump over that. <laughs> Rotisserie hog. <laughs> oh, go under that one. There you go. Now, my memory is serving pretty well right here. Not bad. I think they oh, no, no, man. I oh, I failed right at the very end. Okay, well, we had a checkpoint right there. Okay, how far is this? There you go, and then go to the left. Seems like it alternates left to right, to right, to left, or left, right, left, right. Then, there we go. And then jump over this one. And then the next one, we go under it? Yes. And the next one, I think we jump over it. Uh, yep, there you go, and then jump over that. Let's go to the right. There we go, we got it. We missed a box. 23 out of 24. Are you kidding me? Kind of want to redo this one just because I... Oh, my God. Just one box. Just a singular box. Ugh. 
Okay, yeah, let's listen read. Okay, the first level we're going to redo. I'm like, it is a relatively short level. It's nothing crazy. Oh, we still have Coco. Oh, I think, yeah, yeah, you can see right there, it's a, it has a little, like, line going through Coco there on the bottom right, indicating that we can't, like, switch to Coco, unfortunately, so it is what it is, right? Anyways, oh, we could even do, like, time trials and stuff, too, so if we want to get, like, a better speed, a better time, we could definitely kind of race against ourselves and try and get better times and stuff, but whatever, not that big of a deal. Probably want to go and take, like, oh, yeah, if we want to do that, we need to hit that little clock right there. Don't want to do that, though. All right. I wonder if... I feel like... Is this the box? No. Oh, yeah, we have to get all the box. I was about to say, like, is the only box on this map the one that we missed? But no, yeah, we still have to get all the boxes all over again. Golly. All right. Well, if we fail, or if we miss a box, I could always just kill myself and respawn at the nearest checkpoint. I don't know. I think it might have been that box that we missed. I don't know. Maybe a box up here. Oh my god! No! Man, okay, well, we failed right there anyways. Okay. <laughs> That's good, I guess, right? That's good that we failed right there. Cause <laughs> I missed that box, and we're, only, we're only, the only reason why we're redoing this is to get 100%. So, let's go to the left. There we go. And let's jump on the drum. Try it. There we go. And then, oh, okay. I think we got it. I think, I think we got the... Oh, no! My golly! Gee! Don't get that. Run into the spikes. Okay, I didn't hit that checkpoint right there, so I should respawn back. I think we're good. Yeah, I think I think we're good. <laughs> Alright, looks like it's all going according to plan. Yes, yes. Let's get the box. And jump on the drum. Try and get oh. Oh. There we go. There oh, okay, we did a good job there. Alright, checkpoint time. Save our progress. There we go. Right, left. Get these boxes. Try and stay in the middle here so we can easily go back and forth like that. There we go. And this guy's going to go there we go. And then I think yeah, jump. You guys might be learning these patterns as well. We just go under that one, and then we jump over the next route. history hog. And jump! There we go. And now this last one, I think we had to go to the right. Yeah! And we got the diamond! Yes! All right, that was definitely worth doing it again. All right. 18% already. Wow. Ugh. <laughs> Where are you keeping that? Sp I almost called him Spyro right there. Jeez, crash. <laughs> He's so skinny. He's carrying a gigantic heckin' diamond in his stomach, and he vomits it on cue what <laughs> all right well let's move on to the next level how many levels until we beat the first island though i think there's like two or three islands so man we're, we're, we're probably going to be well i i know like i said earlier oh my god this is the last this is the last level native fortress <gasps> last level on the first island i think there's two or three islands like i said and of course we still have the uh the ascent one uh, what was that called again i forgot stormy ascent so that one i kind of want to do as like a bonus like episode at the very end of the series Dying a lot, keep an eye out for something. I don't know what that said right there. Oh, I think this is... Oh, yeah, I think I remember this level when I was playing it off camera. This was, I think, a relatively long level. So, ooh, might be a little while here. Oh, my... <laughs> I immediately die from the, the first creature. I immediately die from the turtle. Oh, cut that out of the video. Hey, I'm here on my first run on this map, you guys. Gotta jump on the turtle to get the- There we go. <laughs> Jeez. Alright. Ah, dying from literal passive creatures like the turtle. Kill the monkey. There you go. Got him. I mean, no reason to kill the monkey other than, of course, he's annoying as heck, right? Ah. Terrible. I was over like 10 minutes ago. I was like, oh man, no deaths. Zero deaths. There we go. Checkpoint. Ah. Terrible. Maybe maybe I can do. I if I if I tried, I could probably. I don't want I don't want to toot my own horn, but maybe I could do a zero death run of this if I played in like ten hours a day or something crazy. <sighs> All right, well we've died like what two or three times now. Not not too bad on the first island, I guess. Pretty sure whenever I played it off camera, I died way too many times. Of course, it's been probably well over a decade since I played before I played off camera, so that made sense, but sheesh, it's embarrassing that I literally played this thing like three or four months ago, I come back, and I'm already I can choking over here on my let's play, <laughs> alright, there you go gotta watch out for the fire, of course, we'll take damage from that, we'll, I can blaze up, Ada boom, king of the jungle, George of the jungle, I don't think so alright, curious, oh my god, yeah, you see when the flame like, almost lights up, it kinda gets that little Oh, jeez, these guys again. Okay, there we go. And then, there we go, we got him. All right. George of the Jungle, Curious George. I'm trying to get that meme correct. <laughs> meme correction. All right, got those two little vi- or, uh, Why do I keep calling them vi uh, Venus Flytrap. That's what- Oh, barely landed on the edge right there. That was close. That was really close. 
All right, there we go. Turtle time. I'm going to get copy strike from that. <laughs> All right, gotta watch out for the spikes. We still have a, uh, a mask though. So, oh my god! Oh, that was so close. Almost just burnt my butt. And of course, we're sliding down that thing, so we need to watch out for that. Make sure we don't slippy slide. There you go. And and you can actually bounce on the fire ones too. So you can see I actually bounced pretty high up in the air right there. So you can use those. To oh, jeez, this is gonna be kind of trip. Oh, there you go. I got it. Oh, oh, oh my god! Oh my god! Pfft. Okay, net net zero lives right there. I gained a life, or a uh, oh, I gained a life but lost my mask. So hey, a net profit I'd say right there. Hey, bonus level time to let's go. Let's get some more boxes, some more extra lives. Don't mind if I do. Boom, hey up. Seems like an extra box or something hidden up here. Maybe I don't see anything. I, don't, I think that might be it. Just that one little extra life thing right there. Not complaining. Not complaining. Oh man, this one was easy. Golly. All right, there we go. Level complete. Or bonus level complete, I guess. 30 lives. Nice. I don't know. Maybe we could hit like 50 or something like that. That'd, that'd be kind of cool if we can. Although, uh, already starting to lose some. Oh, man. I, hit, I activated both of those spinny things. It's kind of cool. I don't know if we could actually hit 50 lives with us progressively getting into more difficult parts of the game here. Now, I, I have never actually. I don't. I don't remember, though. Oh, my God. I'm all the way down at the bottom. I'm over here, like, trying to remember which Crash games I played as a kid. I, I'm pretty sure I played this. I'm pretty sure I played the original Crash Bandicoot that we're playing right now. Of course, we're playing the HD, like, remake, remaster, whatever we want to call it. I also played, like, I think Crash Bash? I think I played Warped, which I think is Crash 3. I don't think I played 2. I don't remember for sure. And, of course... Crash Team Racing, which I'm definitely looking forward to this summer with the release of that. Crash Team Racing, like, Nitro Fueled, I think is what it's called, so that's going to be kind of cool. Alright, you guys remember earlier in the... Oh my god! Oh, jeez, I took damage. <laughs> you guys remember earlier in the video, I was like, oh yeah, you could actually go in, like, uh, back and forth in the actual level. Well, there's, like, a hidden... There we go. Hidden stuff back here. I can basically just skip some that kind of stuff. There you go, skip all that trash right there. Hey, don't, don't mind if I do. And I'm getting Wumpa Fruit, too. And I think that's the end of it right here. There we go. Oh, there's some flame down there, so I need to watch out. Oh, my God. Hit the turtles. Got him. Nice. I think there's going to be a... Oh, my God. No, right before the... Oh, right before the checkpoint. Oh, that's what I get for skipping it, right? Sheesh. All right, my... Oh, jeez. Got to be very careful here. Make sure I don't overjump it, you know? But there you go. That was a bad idea. I didn't get any Wumpa Fruit there. Oopsie. Speaking of Wumpa Fruit, at least I'm getting more of them now. And an extra life! Now let's try and time this a little bit better. Make sure we don't heckin'. Okay, there we go. The flame's going out, so we're good. Oh! Land on the turtles and murder the turtles! Oh! There we go. Okay. Woo! We got the checkpoint. Got the checkpoint. And let's move on to this one. Okay, this is just one flame right there, so that's easy. Kill the monkey! Holy! Okay, let's wait for the... Oh, this is going to be a tricky one right here. Uh, nope, nope, we did it, no problem. Yeah, I'm not bragging, and I'm not bragging. Right, let's try that again. This one. There we go, I think, yeah, it's two consecutive flame ones. So let's go. What? I didn't even see the initial little, like, warning flame on that one. Golly! Oh. Okay, we're losing lives over here, you guys. I was over there, over there like, oh, man, I might get 50, but no, I'm already down to, like, 20. Oh, no, man, I saw the flame at the last second. Oh. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, man, I, I need to slow down, by the way. That's one of the... Oh, we're at 28 lines. Eh, not that bad, I guess. But so whenever I fail, I, like, immediately try and, like, hurry up. I speed through it. And then that that's when I get, like, really... Oh, oh. that's when I, I fail, you know? So, you gotta try and take it nice, slow, and careful. No need to... Oh, jeez, there we go. Okay, we got it. Ooh, is there a checkpoint up here somewhere? I don't know, but there's two more lives. And we're back up to 30. There's a hidden, a, uh... Uh, an ultimate pathway right there if I get a gem. And... Oh, there we go. Kill that little creature. Oh, my God. And let's get on to the... Oh, there we go. Okay. There's another path. You guys see that right there? So there we go. Woo! Now, can I go back here? Or is that just like a... Oh, it is. Okay. Oh, okay. It was just an extra... So you can't, like, go to the left anymore. Okay, so that's good. There's three of these in a row, so that's good. I oh, my God! You kidding me? Even with the little, like, ah, oh, and I'm all the way back here. I didn't even get a checkpoint. 
Oh my, okay. So, oh, slow down, slow down. Don't wanna, Woo. oh my, <laughs> jeez. Yeah, you gotta, oh, oh, don't go just yet. Let's, gotta try and time these cycles just right where everything lines up. Oh, don't land on the monkey. Cause I, I don't know, you might be able to land on the monkey. Oh, there we go. I know the flame just went out, but I'm gonna take it safe. Seems like this, okay, there we go. This is a good cycle. There we go, got it. Oh, okay, let's go. Uh oh. Oh, oh, that was so close. That was so heckin' close. Oh, jeez. Oh my god, there we go. And we're good. Oh, all right. And let's go. There we go. Ooh, trying to be too safe right now. I'm like, you can't be too safe, you gotta admit. Can't be too safe. Oh, yeah, this is this is where we failed just moments ago, so gotta try and take a little pause break right here on this little ledge. So there we go. Oh my god, there we go, we did it. Ooh, all right. All right, we, we're, 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 we're basically home. I think this is the end right here. We're, we're basically on the home stretch. Just gotta go up this. God, there's a lot of these. Like, if I fall again, that's gonna take forever to get back up. Sheesh. At least there's four extra, four extra lives right there. Now we're back up to 31. We probably would, oh, 33, holy heck. Probably would have been pretty close to uh, 40 or something like that if we didn't die like a half dozen times back there. Sheesh. Oh, there you go. Trying to get some of the Wumpa Fruit to kind of work towards that extra life that we get a hundred Wumpa Fruit. Can I get that one right there? I might have to. Ah, forget it. Not that big of a deal. Might, I might get it on like if I fall, if I. Oh, oh, oh. I'm doing a pretty good job here. There we go. Get these boxes. There we go. Try and land in the middle. There we go. Bounced on him. And there we go. Doing pretty well here. I'm not bragging. 37 out of 49, I think that is. Boxes? 48? Not bad. 37 out of 48. I know I missed a few boxes because there is an alternate pathway. You guys saw that gem back there, so I'm not I'm not too concerned about that. Oh my god, how many boxes was that? Like 11? Yeah, 11 right there. Not bad. Not bad. And that's the end of the first island, right? Any more? Are we going to move on? I think we might have unlocked this. Yep. Native Fortress moving on to the second island. All right. Well, that's going to be a fantastic first episode here, you guys. Whew. Defeating the very first island. I think there might be like three islands, I forget. But there you go. We defeated the first island. Of course, it is eh, decently easily. Decently easy, I'd say. <laughs> but now we're going to be moving on to the second island. So anyways, for right now, thank you guys all very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below. And if you guys want more of these awesome videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. That'll put my latest videos on our YouTube homepage as soon as they come out so you do not miss an episode. Until then, thank you guys all very much for watching, and I'll see you guys here next time with some more Crash Bandicoot. Oh, bye there.